What's going on boys and girls? Welcome back to another Street Fighter Duel video. All right guys, so uh, we're getting a little bit of conflicting uh, information in terms of how modules work. So we're gonna do two things here. Number one, we're gonna look at modules real quick again, again, uh, and then we're gonna jump into uh, the actual completion of the Explore uh, stage. I'm on the last two here. Um, we're gonna try to get them done and then move on from this. And I wanted to give my impressions on the whole Explore thing versus what we are used to, which is time-gated portals, uh, and kind of give my whole uh, feedback on this. So first thing I wanna talk about is the workman. So thank you to a few folks uh, on my comment sections. Uh, let me just go, let me get their names so I can give them a quick shout out because I wanna see if this is true or not. So Dave Kent, um, I think there's another individual, Daniel Bell. So uh, those po folks who are on the, the channel commenting and trying to uh, give some good information. I appreciate it. Thank you for doing that. Number one, I want to talk about a few things. So I posted three pictures side by side regarding how I thought this worked. Okay. And, and, and from reading the tooltip, obviously, I, I thought I had a clear understanding. So first off the workbench, every single time you buff up one of these um, modules, you'll get yourself these, these stats, which I agree apply to everybody. So that, that, that's pretty straightforward, right? Including the stats here. Okay. So if I remove this, let's say, for example, if I remove this, the speed one, right right here uh this is this should change the stats but it still applies to everybody so let's just change this right you'll see speed will go down so this for example has crit resist instead so if you click here speed went down you see here speed's gone there was speed 24 here before now it's been removed so this inlay cores will affect all of these right here what i didn't understand i guess and i, I don't know if, apparently people tell me uh, well a few people tell me i'm wrong uh and they want me to test it is that these greens right here, these green combos 5 10 15 don't only apply to the Infernal team, it applies to everybody. Now, if that's the case, it still makes sense, right? Because then all that means is these icons don't represent the units, it just represents the buffs. So it's just essentially a placeholder for buffs that applies to everybody. So if that's the case, guys, then kudos to you for figuring that out. I misunderstood because when you read this, uh, where's the tooltip here on the bench, workbench right here? Uh, it says specifically that it applies to, to uh, grants additional abilities to certain fighters. So to me, the certain fighters aspect were related to the core icons so it's actually so from what i'm what i'm being told and I, I guess this makes sense after after reading it again and applying my mindset to a different way is that it all it does is right here it just it, everybody gets this it doesn't it doesn't have to just be assassin so if that's the case which people are saying it is true um then this changes everything because this will make this will make damage uh right when trigger create increases crit yeah i mean like this will this changes everything. Like you, you'll want you don't you won't even care about the icons anymore. All you care about is reading what the effects are. So if that's how we're gonna do this, and we're gonna go and take a look at all these right now, and we're gonna see what they do. So let's take a quick little gander here. Uh, yeah, let's go with that one because we have a lot of armor break. Okay. Um, this one here has when HP is higher than fifty percent, damage increased by eight percent. Okay, I mean that's not bad. Let's see if there's better ones. So like the problem is that you gotta go through all of these, right? Uh, has 30 percent chance to increase all attack by 10 seconds. Okay, that's same as Elena, so that's not that big of a deal. Um, here's damage of the first super combo and combo by 6%, 8%, 10%, etc. This does attack the first attack of each battle deals. Okay, no, it doesn't really matter. Each point increases crit. What's this one do? Each speed point increases crit. Uh, each defense, each super combo and combo two. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's quite a few things here. Let's put this in. And what is this one? So I mean, let's let's give it a go. So th that's that's uh, that's what people are saying. So I'm gonna I'm gonna believe you guys because they have no reason to lie to me. And number two, it makes sense when you read it from a different, like I said, from a different perspective. Okay. So clear that up. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, uh, Stephen. And thank you those other people who identified that. Uh, I thought I did. Uh, enough testing here to figure it out and I understood the tooltip but I, as you can see it can be read in different ways so uh, kudos to you guys for figuring that out I think that'll help everybody that's why I wanted to make this real quick now going to the explore real quick let's go ahead and take a check out these battles so the last two battles are M. Bison and Dante um, the last reward is going to be these two summoning tickets including some demon uh, stones so let's do Bison first it's actually not Bison it's just this team of lackeys which is an interesting team of lackeys I guess but they're all there so Jerry, uh, so I, I'm assuming Emery is going to start with this combo. I think someone had told me this already. So if that's the case, all you're going to do is just going to take it to the face of Bison and then start your interrupt there. So I'm going to go ahead and do this and let's see if we can get this done. Okay. I might have to, uh, rethink my strategy here.
There we go. It's just a matter of interrupts, I guess. Just the usual gameplay nonsense we got to do. There we go, guys. All done. Uh, so it just required some actual manual interrupt gameplay. So there's one done. So that one gave you the five. This one here will give us the 10, I believe. So a little bit more of a support team here, right? Same thing will apply, though. Uh, we're a lot faster than this team. As you can see here, uh, he's going a little ham. Calm down there, Dante. Like, it's just like we're visitors in your in your hood. Be nice to not have to get beat up the moment we show up. Let's see if this works on him. Did it work? Yeah, I think it worked, right? Okay, I think we're good. There we go. That was way easier than the last fight. Jeez. Okay, so that's it, guys. Um, so that puts us at 100%. There we go. All done. Finito, completo, bambito. None of that made sense, but that's okay. Uh, so we're done there, guys. So it's funny, we don't have the, the car still showing. So yeah, if we go back and go back in, I'm assuming we'll have it all yeah, cleared out. There we go. That is it, guys. So what mods did I use? Here are the mods that I went with. I went with agility when dealing a critical uh, dealing critical damage. Uh, you deal additional true damage based on this percentage. Um same thing applies here with armor break because I have Cami uh, as an assist. She'll do armor break. This one here was just nothing. It was just more for stats. Uh, this one here was increase the damage of combo one and three by 8%. It's pretty important because those are pretty big ones. Except for combo one, it's a heal. I mean, you stupid to, stupid to do that one. So maybe I should have switched that one around. I just went with the speed and the crit and the damage right there. So, But that definitely can be altered, guys, depending on your combo system. Um, because the damage one support doesn't do anything. It's just that was useless. So that was a that was a bad example one. Uh, this one here increases the damage of super combo and combo two. So that was a pretty important one, of course, uh, because that was B Zang, um, or it could be Fashion Blanca in this case. Uh, and then yeah, so if we can find a combo three one, that would be worth it for sure. Let's see if I can find a combo three one. And then it's now figuring out what in the world. Is going on with the damage reduction in 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 the fight itself for for Dante Boss because um, some people noticed and I noticed as well. Eventually, I was like, "Yo, like I did like one billion damage, but I went down to five twenty five. Like, what in the world is happening?" So I'm not sure what's going on with that guy. So if anybody has an explanation on that one, I'd be very shocked. Uh, each attack is like, "Oh, this is perfect. Okay, perfect. Let's go with this." Um, I want to know if you guys have any idea what's going on with that one. And what I mean by this is the Qualifoth, right? Oh, hi. There you go. New one. New boss. Okay. We're going to do this one instead. Um, so new bonuses. Let's see. Yeah, let's give them bonuses. Uh, healing. Yeah, sure. Let's do 50%. Uh, no, we don't want to do that one. Uh, no, we don't want to do that one. Uh, if unleashed immediately after the first skill, reduce the damage of the second fighter's skill by 30%. Yeah, no, we don't want that. Um, nope, we don't want that. That's all the same stuff as before. I just keep forgetting which ones are which, so can't, uh, power units. No, we don't want to take that away. Uh, yeah, we'll do that one. Um, no, we don't want that one. We'll do this one, and we'll do this one. Okay, so that's 182%, guys. New challenge. Let's give this one a go. So it looks like two bosses this time. All right, so we're gonna go with T Cami, and, wa and watch my watch. Like I said, watch the damage up top. Okay, it's it's kind of weird how this works. You'll see what I'm talking about when we get there. Uh, we're gonna put Bison here. Put M H Ken here. Um, wait, what happened? Where's my Fashion Blanca? There we go. Uh, okay, and Elena will stay there. This, this, this. Okay, and then we'll combo wise, we're gonna do the usual combo. This, this, and this. Okay, watch what I'm saying. Okay, let's let's go into the fight. Check out the fight. Man, they're huge! What in the world? I love that Bison is in the back. That's actually kind of nice to deal with. Okay, so watch, like I said, watch the damage, okay? That's, this is what's going to matter most. So we'll go ahead and do this now. Now, I'm going to say this right from the get-go. If you have an AoE damage dealer like F-Blanca, you're going to do way more damage now, okay? So I'm doing Kami just to start. I'm going to use F-Blanca next instead. And I believe with F-Blanca, we should do way more damage than Kami because uh, now we have two units to target and Kami will only target one unit for the most part, right? So we're going to try F-Blanca next as the main DPS and see if we can out-damage this by a, like a huge margin, okay? 
Oh, should we will survive this entire thing? Okay, let's see what we get here. Okay, 788. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna replay this for a second because I feel like we did way more damage on top. So let's watch the watch this on top here. Okay, I'm gonna go times four. Watch the damage at the end of it all. Okay. So 788 is what I got. Already at two million here. Three, four. Okay, like we're skyrocketing here, right? It's like 1823. Is that two? Wait, I can't even see one, two, three. Oh, okay, wait, no, we're, we're way higher than that already. So, already beat the, the number I just said. Okay, like we're at, we're at a billion now, it looks like, right? It looks like about a billion, yeah. So, we're at oh, 1.2 billion, 1.3 billion, 1.4, 1.5, 1.6. And it takes away almost half of that. I'm not understanding what the reasoning behind it is. Okay, let's do one more go here. We're going to do uh, Fashion Block in there instead. We'll do Bison in here. Uh, Ken over here. We'll do, uh, do, 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 you know what? We'll do this. Actually, no. We're going to do the old school method of Fei Long. And yeah, we'll do this. Actually, you know what? I'm going to keep Cammy in because I think, if I remember correctly, we had, we had just done the Armor Break bonus, right? So we'll keep Cammy in. And if Cammy's going to stay in, I'm going to put in Viper here. Okay, let's give this a go. So we're going to go this, 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 this. Okay, let's go. And I'm not even going to wait for two combos this time. I'm just going to roll it right from the get-go. Let's see if it makes a difference if I don't even wait for the second combo, okay? I want to see if that AoE will do a bigger difference. Now, you can see here, Bison does not blow up, right? That's a bonus. Right? So far, so good. Everyone's surviving, everyone has a lot of health. We're at 6,000 buff though, so this is gonna start hitting really, really, really hard. Yeah, we might not survive the entire fight. Uh, oh, you know what, we're doing okay. It's just, the AoEs are gonna start hitting really hard, the cleaves, okay. There we go. Okay, I don't know, I didn't see the last number, so let's see. I want to see this number first. Okay, so there you go. Okay, so one one billion in damage, and then we're gonna go ahead and check out the actual. Oh, I didn't get a chance to see it. So I'm assuming it was probably about two billion on the on the damage uh, part. So yeah, it's unfortunate. I'm not sure what's going on with the with the difference in damage here, guys. Um, but there you have it. That's what that's going to look like. And definitely F Blanca is way better in this specific two-man fight because it's a pure AoE fight. Uh, so I recommend using him. All right, guys, this is Payne. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, thank you again for those who explained the mods a little better. I don't know if it's true or not still, but hey, you know what? It's working out. So I, I, I trust you guys. Uh, and, you know, um, what you guys explained made sense. So now I read it a little differently and see it in a different mindset. It actually does apply to what you guys were saying. All right, guys, Payne. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you guys in the next one.